Tens of thousands of people gathered on Tel Aviv on Saturday night to protest against Israel's new nation-state law. Adopted first on May 19th, the law declares Israel the nation-state of the Jewish people. The controversial law has provoked public outrage, especially among the Druze community. Loyal to the regime, this Israeli Arab community has felt most betrayed by the law as it turns all the non-Jews into second-class citizens. The Druze since 1948 in this state have been paid the ultimate price. They have been paid the blood of, head of the sons. We built this state with the Jewish people. We are fighting for the struggle today to be equal, to be equal with the Jewish people in this state. Uh, we feel we've been betrayed by the government led by Benjamin Netanyahu and we are here to protest. We will not give up. We will not be a second-class citizen in a Jewish republic. The nation-state law also declares Jerusalem al Wutz, the capital of Israel, allows Jewish-only communities, sets Hebrew as the official language of Israel, and relegates Arabic from an official language to one with special status. The law simply formalizes and makes very explicit that for the Israelis, for the Zionist project, the only people with superior rights, rights to self-determination in the land of Palestine, are Jews. And Palestinians are officially now, in the eyes of the State of Israel, deemed to have no rights to self-determination. So their essential freedoms to be a people have just been suppressed by this law. Arab Israelis make up around 20% of Israel's 9 million citizens. They face constant discrimination, inferior services and unfair allocations for education, health and housing. Critics say the Israeli regime has always been racist in its policies, actions and laws. But what's new is that the nation-state law is a basic law which serves as a de facto constitution. The new nation-state law formalizes Israel's apartheid structure. Whereas in the past, the practice against Palestinians and non-Jewish minorities was very extreme, it was masked. Political observers argue, in addition, that the new law will be another nail in the coffin of the peace process. Emboldened by the massive support of the Trump administration, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has now given a legal cover to the regime's policy of social stratification based only on race. Israel is not an apartheid state, it's a super apartheid state. It's much worse than anything that appeared in apartheid South Africa. Uh, no white supremacist, even of the craziest variety, ever dreamed of white-only roads in South Africa. But we have effectively Jewish-only roads in apartheid uh, Israel-Palestine. So of course it's apartheid, but it is also a defining moment because it now makes formal that which has been Israeli um, super-racist, uh, state-enforced racist practice. Netanyahu himself has said that the law merely reflects the regime's existing characteristics.